Maps are an excellent way to display data comparing measures between regions. In order to create a map, you'll first need a geographic dimension. Geographic dimensions can be states, countries, zip codes, or a variety of other location types. Here we're working with data about the Olympics. You can see I have country as a geographic dimension. It has this blue globe next to it. If Tableau doesn't automatically recognize your dimension as a geographic role, you can right-click the dimension and set the geographic role here. There are two map types you can create in Tableau 8, a field map and a symbol map. A field map is best when you are showing a geographic dimension in one measure. For example, if we wanted to see the total metal count by country, a field map would be best for that. Now we have a field map where the darker green areas represents countries with more total metals. If you want to look at more than one measure, you can create a symbol map. We can change the mark type to circle and drag total metals to size. Now the size of the dot represents how many total metals a country has won. We can add another measure into this, like gold medals, by dragging it onto the color shelf. Now a darker gold dot means more gold medals. If we wanted to use a static image instead of a web map, we could add one by going to background images. Using static images as your map are a good option if you are trying to map on something non-standard, like a blueprint. If anything isn't getting mapped correctly, we can examine it under Edit Locations. Here we can see two places were not recognized, Chinese Taipei and Serbia and Montenegro. Let's map Chinese Taipei to Taiwan. and Serbia and Montenegro to Serbia. Our last section in the map menu is for map options. These are the formatting options you have with your map. We can choose the style of the map to use. Here's a gray map. This might be a good option if you are making a filled map and want your colors to stand out a little more. We also have a dark map we can use. It looks like our symbols stand out a little better on this dark map, so let's use this one. Washout determines how vibrant the colors of your background map will be. You can see, as we slide this, the background map lightens up. You can see when we zoom out, that the map ends. If we select Repeat Background, you can see that it will tile the map horizontally so that the continents are repeating. We can also select the level of detail we want by choosing map layers. Base shows the basic outlines of land masses. Land cover and streets and highways are grayed out because they aren't used on this dark map. All of these options below state and province borders are grayed out because we aren't zoomed in close enough to enable them. This level of detail would be best if you're making a viz of a smaller area. I think our map looks pretty good now. That's the end of this video on maps in Tableau. Thanks for watching.